since we've launched the cam, the bullet cam, there's always been lots of discussion on SD cards because it's always been limited to the 32 gig micro SD card. Um, and obviously the battery will last, uh, outlast the, the SD card. So what happens is at the end, when it's full, it'll start recording over the older uh, video files. And what people have asked is, look, wouldn't it be great if we could keep, have a bigger memory card, like a 64 or one to eight gigabyte SD card that could then start capturing uh, all of the um, footage as opposed to going back and overwriting um, the old videos just in case there was a close pass basically. Well this morning we learned how to do that. Basically when you're on a laptop to reformat a card to FAT32 it's limited to the size of the, the card or the memory at 32 gigabytes and you can't reformat a 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte card to FAT32 at 32 bits and that's what you need. Well we found, uh, did a bit of Google searching and there's a software that enables you to do this and we did it this morning on a 64 gig and a 128 gigabyte card and it worked with the bullet cam. So we put it in there and it worked straight off the bat. And that's the reason why the larger uh, SD cards in the past didn't work with the cam. It's purely because the format of the card uh, itself wasn't at FAT32, FAT32 at 32 bit. And this way you can reformat the card to FAT32 and hey presto, it records. We just learned that today. Um, so yeah, every day is a school day, but let me show you. So this is the um, software that we found and uh, downloaded. It was the IOMI, A-O-M-E-I Partition uh, Assistant. I just downloaded it, I'll put the link on um, below and it shows you how to use it. But let me just, I'll get the, I'll just, reformat this 64 gigabyte card. So I'm gonna put it in the uh, four in one device that we've got, because uh, my new laptop hasn't got an SD card reader. So I'll plug that in. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is, because I've downloaded it before, launch the software okay it's already running so there it is there so what i'm going to do you make sure that you highlight um the disc now only do this if you're comfortable with um using laptops and tech because what you don't want to be doing is reformatting your hard disk of your um, computer. So here it's the um, it's the USB part, it's 128 gigabyte. Um, in fact, it's not. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna close this down, relaunch it. So let's relaunch it, because I want it to read the new card, which is 64 gigabyte. There we go, so it's 64 gigabyte there. I can say, you can tell that it's a um, just a USB disc. So I've highlighted it. Now I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna uh, format partition. And I've just called it 64 gigabyte file system for FAT32. Keep it on that. And the default is 32 kilobytes. That's what you want, that's what you need the cluster size to be. And if you've got a problem with an SD card, just make sure that your SD card is formatted to FAT32, because that is the majority of the problems that we see with action cameras. 
Um, so let's just say OK. And then I have to go up here to there. There's an ap apply. So I press that. And by the way, this software was free. So there are paid versions of it, but I've just used the free version. And now I'm going to press the proceed. And um, I'm going to put yes. Let's see if it. You want to start? Yes. There it goes. So that's all been completed. It's all done. So now I'm going to take out. That's the 64 gigabyte card. And let me put it inside the cam. There's the cam there, 64 gigabyte card, and it goes. Normally, this would be a solid blue light, and it, when I switch it on, and it won't flash. It's vibrated twice, started flashing. That's recording. And that is how you get a 64 gigabyte card to work with the bullet cam. And we've also done that with a one to eight gigabyte card. That worked no problem as well. So yeah, you learn something new every day. And we have tried, there was another two software um, uh, that we tried uh, downloads, but this was the easiest and best one that worked straight off the bat for me. And this is the one that I'd recommend. Uh, but remember, it will, when you reformat your card, you'll lose all of the um, data on the card itself. So if you want to keep that, make sure you back it up. And also uh, make sure like now that's um, that has highlighted my computer. Make sure you know what you're doing and you are comfortable before you, you know, it should be on the, the, the right drive, etc. Because otherwise you're going to have a problem if you reformat your computer, etc., you don't want to do that. So, you know, um, I'd recommend if you know what you're doing, if you need, you know, if you want to do it, um, then you can use the um, this software. Read up all about it. I'm sure there's uh, videos on YouTube as well. Um, but works for us. And hey, presto, we've now got a 64 gigabyte or one to eight gigabyte S micro SD card working for the Bullet Cam.